Y'all, I'm having an allergy attack in the middle of this video, so if there's lots of cuts, it's because I'm trying to survive. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because I feel like I haven't sat here and actually chatted with you guys in forever because the last couple of videos have been voiceovers or like a vlog, but I haven't like sat here and been like, hey, what's up? So, hey, what's up? So, if you guys watched my bridal hair look, I did get married on Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> it was, um, uh, we ended up having, we woke up Wednesday to a hurricane watch, mm -hmm, a hurricane watch. Uh, Ida, Ada, I think it was, I kept calling it ETA. <laughs> but yeah, it kind of like switched past in the middle of the night on Tuesday. So, hold on, I'm a little hot right here, let me get. Let me, there we go. Tuesday night we went to bed and it was like, yeah, it's not gonna make landfall, don't worry about it, Tampa Bay, y'all are good. Woke up on Wednesday and it was like, nah, nah, like kept getting alerts. We were on a tornado watch all day. So our original plan was we were gonna go get married outside. That didn't happen. So we did like a quick setup and actually just got married right out in the living room because I currently don't have any furniture out there. So I threw a backdrop up, I put some pompas up and yeah, we got married. So I am married <laughs> very 2020 we got married in the middle of a hurricane a pandemic and all other crazy things that are going on our actual wedding isn't for a few months we'll see we'll see how that goes i'm still it's only about two months away but i still feel like things are crazy out there so we'll see how it goes i want to talk about some of my favorite things that i've been loving i've been wearing makeup more it's nice like i've been obsessed with this foundation that i'm wearing which i'm going to share with you guys today and some body products i feel like a lot of it's makeup i've got some fragrance in here there's a random product right there i got a little bit of home decor like christmas home decor so yeah without further ado i feel like i don't know how long i've been sitting here chatting but let's get into it. All right, the first couple of products I'm gonna to mention to you are from OGX. I wanna thank OGX for sponsoring a portion of this video. I've been a fan of OGX products for a while. I did a collab with them a few years ago, and since then, I just feel very, like, appreciative towards their products. The one that I love the most is the Smoothing Coconut Coffee Body Scrub. This smells so good. I feel like in 2020 we should have smell vision right now. So I didn't think that I would love, like, a coffee-scented anything while I was in the shower, but then I tried this coconut coffee version, and let me tell you what, when I'm in the shower, it just is like so invigorating. It's moisturizing, it's exfoliating, it leaves you super smooth. The beads are very small, so it's not like a rough exfoliation, it's just very gentle. I found that I have to use some kind of exfoliator in the shower because I get like the little bumps, you know? And I've tried everything for it, I even had um, some kind of body wash that was made specifically for it, but I feel like nothing has worked as good as this guy has for me So I continue to use this it has a very like I said light exfoliation and leaves you super moisturized So if you're not into like the exfoliation version of a body wash, I also really love the coconut version I it's so weird because like I don't like coconut like to eat it But I love anything coconut scented like coconut lip balms coconut body washes like anything like that I have a really good coconut body spray it makes me feel like a kid like I used to lay out I used to go to the beach all the time and just like this scent just like brings me back there so this one is also amazing too it's got coconut oil and vanilla bean extract in it so it's very moisturizing on the skin I love the OGX body washes they are sulfate free and all that jazz I go between the two of these this one I always use like because I'm exfoliating every time I'm in the shower and like I said I love this one because the exfoliating beads aren't super harsh which I really like I have sensitive skin PS and then the coconut miracle oil one I use when I feel like my skin just really needs a lot of moisture because this really helps to restore the moisture it's rich it's creamy it's indulgent love them both I can't pick like which one I love more so I'm just gonna say that I equally love them I even took an allergy pill last night and I'm still like holding it together here <laughs> Another one of my favorites from OGX is their humidity blocking hairspray. This is so important for me living in Florida. It has shea butter in it and marula oil. It says it has like an extra strong hold, but it's only around a three. I don't find like it's not 
it's not like a crunchy hold. For me, I need this product, especially when I'm taking the time to do my hair. It's been so hot outside and like just like sticky and wet the past couple of days. So if I'm taking the time to do my hair, I really wanna make sure that I'm, it's like staying and it's locked in. If you've been to Florida, if you live in Florida, you know that you can take all this time to do your hair, walk outside and then it's like poof, it falls flat. So this really does help keep my style intact if I know that I'm gonna be venturing out into the very humid climate that I live in. So that guy's amazing. And another plus on both of these is the smell. I wish that they would like bottle their smell into some kind of like body spray because I just find it so clean. It's like so fresh. Every single one of them has like a lingering scent, which I really love. Even their shampoos. Like when I wash my hair with any of their shampoos, the scent stays in my hair like for days. And it's just so, it's so clean. And did you guys know that OGX is based out of Clearwater? Like they're just right around the corner. Hey y'all. So I will have links in the bottom bar for all the OGX products and any other product that I mentioned. Um, you can find OGX products on Amazon. But yeah, all the links and everything will be in the bottom bar. All right, so my next one is from HSN. This one's totally, totally random, but I watch HSN a lot at night. I don't buy a ton of things. This did get me. It was like their beauty extravaganza or something like that. Uh, but HSN holds like a special place in my heart. One of the ladies, one of the hosts, she's been on the show forever and ever and ever. Um, she used to come into BJ's all the time and I just love her so much so I, I continuously watch her. I haven't worked at BJ's in 10 years or something like that. Dang, has it been that long? I still, I still love her so I always watch HSN, especially like when Jeremy's asleep. But I had to give you guys a little background as like, why are you watching HSN? Because I love one of the hosts. So this guy got me, this is the M Assam Magic Finish. M Assam, M Assam, Assam? I'm not really positive, please excuse me. Um, but it's supposed to be like your concealer, your foundation, your moisturizer, your primer, like literally everything all in one. And I was like, oh, okay, let me see what this is. This is a jumbo size version of it because they were having like a special, this is supposed to be like a year supply. And when I bought it, I was originally thinking like I could use it as like neck makeup, body makeup, anything, you know, that I needed just like an extra little coverage, but I don't want to use like a foundation on it. So this is what it looks like. It's super moussey. I'm sorry that I didn't rip this off. I'm sure it's annoying some of you because it's annoying me but it's like it's like this like this weird jelly texture jelly texture mousse texture and it's supposed to be like universal it's supposed to blend with anyone's skin but you guys when I put this on my face the other day I freaked out I couldn't believe how much coverage it gave but it, you still look like yourself I couldn't see any of my pores I was matte I didn't go outside or anything I was just like blown away when I put it on my face. I was shocked, shocked. <laughs> um, as you can see, like my hand just looks so smooth too. It's not like a full coverage type of product, but it really evens you out. You look so smooth. The only thing is, is I don't know how well it would hold up to like being in like a humid climate, but it, I, I can't even like explain to you like how weird it is. I'm gonna show you guys in a vlog when I don't have any makeup on so you can see the coverage that it provides. But I had to mention it because I was just, I was thoroughly blown away by it when I put it on my face. So if you guys have tried it, I, I, it might be like an old lady product or something, I don't even know. But it really is like a magical product. But yeah, I, ha I will definitely put that on when I'm vlogging so that you guys can see like the coverage it, it gives. It's like insane. All right, so the next couple, no, all right, next is an eyeshadow paddle. A what? <laughs> Next is an eyeshadow palette that I love. This is from NYX and this is their Ultimate Utopia palette. It doesn't look like I've used a ton of shadows, but I use this palette almost every single time I do my makeup now. It's crazy how like, if you like one shade in a palette, well, it's me, I guess. If I like one shade in a palette, it doesn't matter how big it is, it's just something that I always gravitate towards. So this is what I've been currently using to do my eye looks. I just love it so much because it's like warm, it's cool, there's mattes, there's shimmers, everything. And the reason that I love this palette so much is for this shade right here. It's like the perfect lid color, the perfect brow bone highlight. I love the different shades and tones of browns in here. It's just a really good palette. So it's just something that I'm always, always reaching for. And I think that I got this guy from Ulta. So it just looks, look how beautiful it looks. Look 
how beautiful it looks. Okay, next are two blush palettes that I use every single day, so I quickly want to mention them to you guys. The first one is from Ciate London, and this is the Miss Piggy collection, and this is the Cream Blush Palette. As you can see, I just kind of mix all of them together when I pop them on my cheek, and it's a different kind of cream texture than I'm actually used to. It's more of like a powder cream. Like before, I was using this Kaja Beauty, which I still use. I still love these. These are their little bento boxes, and this is the cream blush that I was using before, and this is more just like a straight on cream whereas this guy is like a powder cream but I really love all the shades in this palette and like I said I just kind of mix them all together and pop them on my cheek and then sometimes I'll just leave it as is and just leave the cream but if I want like a little more blush a little more pop I'll go in with my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism blush palette and kind of mix these two these are my two favorite tones in the palette and then I just set like the rest of my cheek with that and I just gashed that freaking Gosh, beauty. And I've been concentrating my blush just like more back here on my face. So I just have like, it just gives like a more lifted appearance than if I were to put the blush like right here on my apples like I was doing. Like sometimes I'll still do that, especially like if I don't have like a lot of other makeup on. But if I have a, but, that, 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 but if I have a full face on, I've been kind of starting here and pushing it back. And like my blush is like all in this area now instead of like more focused in this area. Love this guy. All the shades in this are really beautiful, super pigmented. These two are just kind of like my go-to. All right, then for cream bronzer, I've been loving this one from Seoul. This is their medium face and body bronzing balm. It's so good. A lot of people have been comparing it to the Chanel version, but I guess Chanel changed their formula so it's not as good anymore. This is so good. You guys know that I was using the cream blush from Fenty. This one's just like a little bit too dark for me sometimes. So I switched to this one more recently. And I like this one because it has like a little bit more warmth in it, which works a little bit which works a little bit better with me and my skin tone. I have to be um, a little more tan to get away with using Teddy now because it ends up looking a little bit muddy on me because it's just a little bit too dark for me. So I do want to get a lighter version of the Fenty cream because it's really good, but this has been kind of saving the day. I've been very, very into contouring with cream. I feel like it gives like a more natural look to the face. And then same way with the blush. Sometimes I'll just let the cream live and not set it. But if I do set it, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This Girl, why do you say bronzer? Bronzer. But I've been using it in the shade medium. I love how big this palette is because I do a lot of bronzing down on my neck because I always have, if, if I have skin showing, I have makeup on the skin. If I've got makeup on my face and I've got skin showing, I will literally drag it all the way down because it just creates like a smoother, more universal looking canvas. So I love that this is huge. It's super big. And again, this one is, oh, this is in tan. I thought it was in medium, but it's in the shade tan. I also have it in the shade medium. So medium is actually the shade that I use more regularly. And then if I want to kick it up a notch, I will hit it with tan. Tan I usually use for like sculpting down here and dragging it all the way down because this portion right here is usually the whitest on me, my face and my neck. So my face always because I have sunscreen on, I'm washing it a lot. And then my neck because my head kind of you know, blocks it. So this part doesn't really get sun. So I use the more tan version on my body and then medium more so on my face. Look how big these are. So large. All right, let's talk about the foundations because I mentioned it in the beginning of the video and who knows how long into the video we already are. I have been so, so into, and it is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation Stick. My God, that print was so small. I was like, I, could, I don't even know if I could tell it to you guys. I use mine in the shade 240, which is Toasted Coconut. One, I love a stick foundation. Two, this is probably the best stick foundation that I've ever used. And that's saying a lot for me because this isn't like to shade Huda Beauty or anything like that. It's just I've never really been a fan of any of the products. I've tried a ton of them. I've just never found one that really worked for me until I tried this foundation stick. And it's probably the best foundation stick that I've ever used. I've got more combination skin now, which is kind of oily here and then drier here. It looks so good. Again, it's called like what? Faux filter. You look like you have a filter on. It really does a good job at like 
concealing or hiding or disguising the pores like I have larger pores on my face in this area and it it's just it's so nice I've been wearing it since I got it and the first day that I wore it I didn't set it with powder I didn't do anything because I didn't want to like compromise it I actually wanted to see what it looked like on my face because with me usually like a stick foundation will look so fire when I first put it on and then like as the day goes on it kind of breaks down around my nose it gets super oily on me most stick foundations that I try this one None of that happened. Didn't break down on me. I wasn't super oily. And again, I didn't set anything with powder. I do have powder on my face today because I'm filming and I would sit here and just sweat because it's so hot. But this is really one of the, I'm not gonna say one of the best. I'm gonna say it is the best stick foundation that I've ever used. So like, I don't know what she put in here, but it's magical. When I first put it on, I thought, oh no, this is not gonna work for me because it's not as creamy as a lot of stick foundations, but I think that's where the magic lies because it didn't break down, I didn't get oily, I looked flawless all day, and it's like one of those foundations where you can like really get close to your skin in the mirror and be like, wow, that foundation did that. That foundation did that. Another one though that I really love is from Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez um, is from Rare Beauty. That's the brand name. Keep it in your hand. And I finally got some lighter shades. So I've been wearing the, I don't even know what this is called. It's a very liquidy, watery foundation, totally opposite than the stick foundation. This one is medium coverage, but it is buildable, so you can throw another layer on and give yourself more coverage. Um, I've been wearing it in the shade 2N, which is way better than the shade that I was wearing, which was a little bit orange for me, but it's just because it was too dark. Very lightweight, very easy to blend. Like I said, medium to full coverage foundation. Looks very natural, looks very healthy. It doesn't have like a matte finish, but it doesn't have like a um, a dewy finish. It's kind of you know, like more like satiny. So very, very beautiful foundation. The next product, you, you right there, ma'am, magical. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydro Filler Concentrate. I think I've used this in a makeup tutorial or two, but I really haven't like spoken too much about it. This is so fire, y'all. So what I do now is when I put my foundation on, I don't put any foundation underneath my eyes. That's how I used to always do it. I used to just put foundation all over my face. Now, I leave my whole under eye clear of foundation. <clears throat> I do my eye makeup, whatever, whatever. When it's time to do my under eye concealer, I'll take a makeup remover wipe and then just kind of clean off this area if any shadow's fallen out, remove any kind of foundation that may have, way, that may have made its way up there. Slow down your talking, girl. I did just drink a full cup of coffee. <laughs> I did just drink a full cup of coffee, so. I'm a little uh, turnt. After that, I apply literally the smallest pump. I'll show you guys like how much I use. Like it's legit like that much, like maybe a half pump of this. Dab it between my two ring fingers and then pop it on underneath my eyes. Then you're gonna wanna let it dry before you move in with your concealer. But this really will make you look like you have the smoothest under eye concealer ever. You don't have to apply powder. It just provides the most insane perfect base for underneath your eyes. I actually saw this on TikTok and it did not disappoint. Did not disappoint. I've used so much of it. I feel like now I can't even do under eye concealer if I don't have this product on underneath because like it said, it's a 96 hour hydro filler concentrate. So it kind of just makes everything smooth. If you have a little bit of older skin, more mature skin, maybe you just have like a little wrinkly under eyes. Like it's not a big deal. You have, we have wrinkles under there. It's natural. This makes it look like they're not there. It really is such a bomb under eye trick. It makes such a difference. I've used this with a bunch of concealers and it looks good underneath every single one of them. So I will go more into depth with it in my next makeup tutorial to show you guys what I mean, but it is really a life changing product for underneath your eyes. Trust me. <laughs> next is probably the best setting spray I've ever used ever. I'm going to show you a close second though because I do want to mention the Milk Hydro Grip. This is also really amazing at keeping your makeup on all day. It's just since I've gotten this, this guy's kind of, I pushed him to the side a little bit because I've, this is, this, maybe, maybe tell you what it is, right? Maybe tell you what it is. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night Stay All Day. No melting, 
no fading, no creasing. You can wear this, like say you wanna put a full face on but you gotta wear a mask when you go somewhere. You can wear this and your makeup's not gonna go anywhere. It is insane how long this keeps your makeup on. I think it says something like you get 16 hour wear out of this guy, like after you lock it in. Does, I don't have my glasses on. Um, but yeah, six, yeah, primes and sets for 16 hours, instantly locks in your look, no melting, no fading, no creasing. Hold six inches away and mist over entire face before and after applying your foundation. I don't apply this before I put my foundation on, I just apply it afterwards and it keeps everything locked and loaded. It's so it's so good. All right, so next, this is a product that I've been using inside of my masks, and it's from Neutrogena, and this is the Soothing Clear Turmeric Mist, and it refreshes and hydrates stressed, acne-prone skin. So like I said, I just spray a little bit on my mask before I gotta go. It's not like I spray it immediately after, because I don't want it to be like wet when I put it on my face, so spray it, let it dry, and then put it on, or you can spray it like directly on your face, and I feel like it's really been helping my skin to stop breaking out from the masks. I do wash my masks all the time. I wash them with all. It's the plant-based one, so there's no fragrance, no anything. It's just like all natural detergent that I wash my masks in. But this guy is really nice. It's not tacky, it's not sticky, and I feel like my skin looks pretty good. Like I haven't had a lot of breakouts. That guy right there, you see that little tiny bump right there? He's been hanging on for dear life. It's literally right where my mask lays, but he's finally flat. He's finally on his way out the door. And it's been since I started using that, like that guy would not go away. Like he would just be there forever. And I'm like, sir, pack your bags, you gotta go. Oh wait, he's a little, he's a little dirty. Let me, let me clean him off. So this is from Soap and Glory and this is the Sexy Mother Pucker Pillow Plump. It's a mouthful, but I have still, I still have never gotten eyelids done. Hold on, let me hit on. Cause they're looking a little not shiny. So I still never have gotten my lips done. I've just always continuously overlined them. I still go back and forth. Do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? Do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. So I use anything that I can to plump them. I overline them. I always use a gloss. I've been using this guy because it gives you a nice little plump to the lip, but it's not like an overpowering lip plumper. Like some of them hurt, like some of them sting your lips. I've used a ton, okay? Cause anything I can do to get these guys to look a little more juicy than they actually look, I'm down for. And I think this is, this is probably my favorite. It maybe doesn't give the most plump it could give, but it's what I can handle. I can't handle any of those ones that burn and sting your lips. Like I have to get them off immediately. So again, this one is from Soap and Glory. They have them in a few different shades. I just like the clear one the most cause I'll put like my actual gloss and all that stuff and then I'll just add this guy on top. And it just gives like the perfect little plump, you know, like the perfect little. Yeah, obviously if I ever do get them done, I'll take you guys with me. But for now, we're gonna overline and hit him with some plumping gloss. <laughs> all right, this guy is from Skin Fix, and I have this in my purse all the time because I have super dry hands, especially because I wash them all the time. I'm always spraying them with hand sanitizer or something, so I find that they're dry all the time. I'm always putting cuticle oil on my nails because it's just constant dryness of my hands. So I keep this guy in my purse. It's the Eczema Plus. I don't have eczema, but I like how this cream feels on my hand and I find that when I do put this on that my hands feel and stay moisturized for longer than if I were to use some other hand cream. It doesn't have the best scent in the world. I don't really need my hands to smell good, but I do need them to be moisturized. So that's my favorite hand cream. I keep it in my car. I keep it in my purse because like I said, I just always have dry hands now always so I'm literally putting this on daily this is probably like my third bottle since all this has been going on we've been washing our hands all the time and spraying them with hand sanitizer I've gone through this stuff like water <laughs> and this is it for beauty and then I'm just gonna show you some like cute holiday decor that I've got so I don't ever usually mention perfumes to you guys because it's hard to be like oh my god this smells so good you should smell it you should try it but you know maybe it's nice to just have like reference of good perfume so when you're in the store you could smell them and be like oh yeah she was right it does smell really good so I wanted to mention these two to you guys because I've had these in constant rotation the first one is from Giorgio Armani and it is my way <sighs> this is wonderful it's like so sexy and clean and fresh like that's like what I like to smell like like I like to smell like just clean 
the fresh is the fresh. So as you can see, I have been, I've been getting to this one a lot. I got it from my mom as well. What I love about perfume is it smells different on everybody because everybody has different pheromones and it just reacts different to everyone's body. It's definitely in the top five of my favorite perfumes ever. And then this one is from Jennifer Lopez. This one kind of has like that same vibe. It's a little more light scented than this Armani one. The, the Armani one stays on you like literally all day. Like I can go to sleep still smelling on it. This one does have a good amount of staying power, but I find that it doesn't last as long, but it's still, so I'm just gonna, this one is my jam. This is like my go-to after I get out of the shower. I just, it doesn't taste well. It doesn't, it doesn't taste good. It's up there too. I feel like maybe this guy's like in my top 10 and this guy's in my top five. So two really good ones. I'm not even sure what the Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lopez one is called. Just says Jennifer Lopez on it. If this one does have a name, I'll have it listed in the bottom bar. All right, that was all the beauty products. I'm gonna just share with you guys some cute home decor stuff. Two of them are from Target. So the first one that I got from Target is this cute bowl. I know this is like totally random, but I love this, whatever this is is called and I believe it was from the Studio McGee collection. It's got a hole in it so be careful but it's like a cute fruit bowl. It's like a little bit deeper than the current fruit bowl that we have but I love it so much. Who knows if I'll actually put fruit in it. I want to get like some Christmas ornaments and put them in here and like have it as like a table centerpiece but I just love it so much. It wasn't super expensive which I like. It's a very light feeling bowl and I just love this finish on it. I might have showed that in a vlog to you guys. I'm not sure. But I got this guy literally in the same place from Target and it's so cute. I haven't put up any of my Christmas decorations yet. I probably need to get on that. But I love this guy. He was sitting right next to the bowl so I feel like I was just meant to buy these two together because the original day that I went to Target they didn't have any of their Christmas decoration out. They had this guy and like that's it. So I was like mm, let me get this. I need to get around to Christmas decorating okay because I'm running out of time. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this one because I showed this the other day. I love it so much. I was telling everybody that I'm very into this like painted looking serveware, platter, diner, dinnerware. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I just love it so much. I love nutcrackers as well. So I got this guy from World Market. It is online, so I will link it for you guys just in case you don't have a World Market next to you. But it is so cute. I love it. And then this one, oh my god. This makes me so freaking happy. I got this guy from Anthropology. I want to display it like as like a actual display. Like I don't think I'm going to serve on it. I think I'm just going to use it as like some kind of holiday decor like sitting up like this because I mean it's too pretty to eat off of. Like it just I don't, it, it literally makes me so happy when I look at this. And then these make me very happy. I'm also going to decorate with these, but I got the 12 days of Christmas dessert plates and they look like this like ah! this is my favorite one that's why I wanted to show it um but it has like the 12 days of Christmas You're like on the fifth day of Christmas my true love gave to me five golden rings Jeremy says five golden eggs I'm like sir it's five golden rings. So each one is different. I love them so much. This is the partridge in a pear tree, the nine ladies dancing, and they're all animals, which I really like, because who doesn't like animals? Hmm. If you don't, hmm. I don't know about you. Every single one is so cute. So I'm gonna hang these on the wall. So when I do my Christmas decorating, it will be in a vlog for you guys. So you will see all these plates in action, but each one is like cuter than the next. I don't know why the goats are my favorite, but the goats are my favorite. I'm gonna try to do some like wall, like plate display on the wall. So we'll see how that goes. Like I said, you guys, I'll do it in a vlog so you can see. I've been trying to like line them up to see what I want them to look like, but I feel like I just gotta put them up and just go with it. These are gonna be to display. I'm probably not gonna let people eat off my goats because they're just too cute mm -mm, no so that is it if you've made it through if you're still here I wish that I could hug you I'm squeezing you virtually squeezing you virtually so that is it for me guys as always I will have all the links in the bottom bar for you and yeah I don't think I have anything else to tell you except I love you and I will see you guys super soon in a new video bye guys